um, let's talk a, a little bit about the different Marvel characters, maybe, because on She-Hulk, there are so many guest uh, stars. We have seen the Hulk, uh, Abomination, um, Wong. Was it always the plan to have those characters around? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things we were really interested in was creating this very real grounded world that also incorporates all of these crazy characters. So the more characters from the universe that we could incorporate, the better. And what better place than a superhuman law firm? I love that. And um, you recently dropped a teaser that Daredevil is going to come up as well. So I have to ask you, um, is it the same Daredevil as from the old series, from like from the um, Defenders se series, or is it a different variant of the character? I am going to um, pass on answering that because Daredevil is a really exciting element to the series that people are going to have to wait a little bit to see, and I don't want to give anything away. All right, I respect that. Then I'm probably not going to ask about um, the character of Donny Blaze, which sounds pretty familiar to a Johnny Blaze that you might know. So I'm um, not going to ask about that one either. <laughs> well, all I can say about that is the actor playing Donny Blaze, um, who is also my husband, um, asked me uh, so many times about the connection between Donny and Johnny Blaze. And I always um, say the only person who can answer that is Mr. Kevin Feige. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> so let's talk about a bit about this uh, series itself, because there's such a unique tone to it um, from the, all the comedy element. So what stylistic choices were important for you? The most important thing for me was honoring the comedy that was on the page. I come from a comedy background, you know, doing Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Modern Family and, you know, flat out comedies. But we had to elevate it to a cinematic um, place that fit into the broader world of the MCU. And that was probably the biggest challenge of the series was how do we make it look big um, but still allow for these funny moments because comedy is small, comedy is intimate, comedy is two characters playing off each other. So my German cinematographer, uh, Florian Ballhaus, and I worked really hard on finding elements that gave it a sense of scope and that made it feel like it could be part of the MCU, but then allowing the comedy scenes to play very simply with two cameras and, you know, letting the actors play off of each other and improvise. And then the character of She-Hulk, she has obviously, well, very many um, feminine parts to her, obviously, but also some, let's say, like, muscular parts due to the Hulk um, thing. How was it for you to find the balance between those parts? You know, people talk so much about how she looks and the aesthetics of She-Hulk, but we really spoke about um, the, the strength, the inner strength, and how she can fit into the real world. And that was a big conversation because Hulk is a monster. Hulk doesn't fit into the real world. He sticks out like a sore thumb. She has to go on dates. She has to work in a regular office. She has to live in a regular apartment. So it was really about finding that balance, um, you know, to where she was strong enough to go toe to toe with the Hulk, but she also could live a regular life because that's what sets her apart from pretty much every other superhero is that we're seeing this very regular almost mundane life that she lives and so to fit into that she can't be too extreme in her in her size and her bulk all right and is there anything else that you would like us to um pay attention to when we watch the show on disney plus any hidden details, maybe Easter there are, eggs? There are so many Easter eggs and so many hidden details. And I would love to see somebody find them all. They should make a Where's Waldo of Easter eggs in the series. And someone can win a prize if they spot them all. Jen, do your thing. God, I really like this outfit. I'm not proud of this. What does it feel like for you to be part of She-Hulk and the MCU in general? Are you a big Marvel fan? Yes, I've seen all the Marvel movies in the theater and um, it just doesn't feel real. It's always something that, you know, I would go see Marvel movies when I wanted to be inspired or when I wanted to remember like what was possible for an actor or what kind of things, you know, just like just a big splashy thing that you can be involved in. And then now I'm in it and it's, so weird it doesn't feel real it's really exciting and uh, Nikki is such a fun character did you get to improvise a bit did you get to put your own style into her somehow 
Yeah, I was really lucky. I improvised a lot in my audition, which I think is always a risky move, but it's something I like to do. So I kind of wanted to test the waters. And then um, they they liked it and they liked my take on the character. So they kind of wrote, Jessica really wrote Nikki for me and um, and really gave me a lot of freedom to play with the words. Sometimes she would say like, put your stank on it. You know, she would give me the script and be like, now gingerfy it. So, um, but she, she, she's such a wonderful writer and, uh, and everyone on the show has kind of an improv background and, and knows how to do it. Tatiana as well. So the show, because it's a comedy has that kind of fun, free, loose vibe. So we were very lucky to have that freedom. Yeah. Nice. And if you could gingerfy her a little bit more and give her some superpowers, what what kind of superhero would she be? Oh my goodness. I would love, I would love for her to sing and for some reason have have the singing do something. Like I think it'd be really cool to sing like lullabies and then put all these bad guys to sleep or something. Or like, I don't know. I think it'd be cool to have some sort of superpower with my voice in, in whatever way. I don't know if that exists. I mean, I always want to fly and be invisible as well, but you know. Well, how was filming with all the Marvel guest stars that you have on the show? If you're such a big fan, that must be incredible. Yeah, it was wild. It is. It was. It was. I. What was so nice is you know, like Wong. I I'm, I love Benedict Wong and 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 Mark Ruffalo so much. Like they made us feel so at home right away. You know, like we didn't know if they wanted to be on our show, you know, Jessica just wrote them into the script. So you kind of don't know if they want to be there or if they're like, oh, let's go do this girl show or whatever. And then they were so excited. And anyone who comes onto our show is excited because they get to be funny. Like they get to be in like permission to be silly as Wong or as Mark or as the Hulk or as whatever special characters come onto our show. So it was, it was, it was so nice that it was uh, that they were so happy and like playful. So they were, they instantly brought us kind of into their family and, and they, and Tatiana is such a good leader and they all, you know, Mark really like, like he, he's not like passing the baton in a weird way. He's just her cousin and he supports her, you know, it's really nice. It was just, um, yeah, we were with such iconic characters. It's weird. I always tell everyone that Benedict Wong would DJ for us in his costume. And so it's like, what is even happening? He's dressed as Wong, but he's playing all the 70s music for us and we're dancing around. It's such a, it's a weird experience to normalize, but it was so loving. So it was, it was easy to not be intimidated. I, I hope we get to see that in the making of or something that would be incredible. <laughs> Listen, I, I tried to post it and I got in trouble. So I don't know if it's out there anymore. <laughs> got you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think the time is already up, but it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank um, you. Likewise. Thank you so much. Have a great day and yeah, see you next time. Maybe who knows? Thank you so much. Hope to see you in person <laughs> one day. Take care. Thank you.